Hello, and thank you for joining us on CLC Today. Today, we are going to talk everything, all things credit, because credit is in the news. If you remember, in 2017, Equifax had a data breach that left a lot of people's personal information out there. Well, as of yesterday, Equifax has agreed to pay up to $700 million for a data breach settlement. Today, we're going to go over on how to file that claim, and also, do you qualify? The 2017 Equifax breach exposed millions of people's personal information and data. The settlement announced Monday by the Federal Trade Commission must still be approved by the Federal District Court in Northern District of Georgia. If that occurs, the Atlanta-based Equifax will pay up to $425 million to a fund that will provide credit monitoring to the affected people and compensate consumers who purchased credit or identity monitoring services as a result of the breach. The company also agreed to provide all U.S. consumers with six free credit reports for the next seven years. Victims of the breach will be eligible for up to 10 years of credit monitoring services for free and seven years of identity restoration services. Consumers who've opt out not to sign up for the free monitoring through Equifax can receive up to $125 as a reimbursement to pay for the own service. The cash payments will be capped at $20,000 per person for expenses you paid as a result of the breach, including losses for unauthorized charges to your account, the cost of freezing and unfreezing your credit report, the cost of credit monitoring, fees you paid to professionals like accountants and attorneys, other expenses like notary fees, document shipping fees, postage, mileage, and phone charges. For the time you spent dealing with the breach, you can also be compensated for $25 per hour up to 20 hours. For the cost of Equifax credit monitoring and related services you had between September 7th of 2016 and September of 7th of 2017, capped at 25% of the total amount you paid. Well, now you're probably asking yourself, how do you know if you're eligible? The claim site will be able to provide you with an update once it is available. But until then, you need to click the link below for the FTC email update address. Well, that's all we have for now. But until next time, we hope you found this informative and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.